Hey guys, how are you doing today? Today we are going to see an yet another topic in the spreadsheet series. Let us take the Google Docs. Hope you all aware how to access Google Docs. If not, just remember the URL https colon double forward slash docs dot google dot com if you enter this it will ask you for the google account if you have this gmail account you can log in to that and you will land up to this screen and this has documentation spreadsheet slides which is equal to the powerpoint and forms so we are going to access the spreadsheet now i have already opened the spreadsheet a demonstration so i have created some of the invoice data say for example if you are working in a factory and uh, you, there are multiple departments and a purchase order has been raised by a department they want to consume the product and this goes to the purchase department where they will take it as an invoice like they can collect multiple purchase orders and then club them together and prepare one invoice and send it to the supplier and the supplier in turn returns the ordered quantity based on the unit price and the cost so here one unit cost into the order quantity becomes the purchase order cost so purchase order number becomes the primary data for us and this is some random numbers i have selected and let me go and change some of the order quantity and then let me changing some of the numbers here product of this to equal order quantity into star mark and then e2 so this becomes my purchase order cost and now when i see the plus icon at the corner of the particular cell i'm just going to drag it till the end of data so this automatically computes the remaining data for the given problem so in today's lecture we are going to see how to use the slicer hope you all have been familiar with the slicer feature that is available in excel already A similar size slicer is available in the google docs sheets so if you go to the data menu you will see the slicer option as you click this you will get a slicer button so this selects the entire data range and you can pick one of the field 
say example i want to see purchased order based data which means i need to filter it based on my purchase order so that applies to the column and if i want to filter the data i can just go and press this button and then get my data sorted and filtered just in this case since purchase orders are multiple that are pointing to a single invoice reference i'll go for invoice number for the demonstration purpose and you can also go and customize the font text color background all this formatting information and in this closing this tab let me do this slice it to a little bit so if i open the pull down menu i can see the all option and the distinct invoice numbers now you could see there are distinct invoice numbers available and i am going to filter them selection and my data gets filtered by the invoice number 001 and if i click the select all again it gets restored to all the data similarly i can go on use this filter based on the values there is another option called filter by condition so this is for the complex searches you want to do like if you if you want to check if there is a text data that is available within the content so say for example if you have a description field where you want to look out for some specific pattern of data or if you want to ignore that which means the text doesn't contain and if the data starts with ends with so all these search filters can be applied for the condition based search and why do we need this so this feature is very much handy when you prepare any dashboard kind of thing for the visual appealing so i want to prepare a pivot table and then pivot chart i can do this based on the data and then when i use this filters it becomes very much user friendly for me to use that slicer to slice the data and filter it i can also go and create multiple slicers you see there is another slicer and now i am going to give a filter option say purchase order number and just closing this so this becomes like a button option as you use in any of the forms now my filter is invoice number so for example i'm going to pick invoice number 2 and within that i'm going to filter out the 
available purchase orders you can see the purchase orders that is pertaining to the invoice number 2 alone getting displayed here i haven't made any linkage between the two slices but still internally it gets filtered based on the data and i'm just clearing it out i'm going to select the purchase order number 3 So this is how my data can be sliced and viewed. This feature is very much useful when you have a huge set of data within your spreadsheet, and you can use these kind of filter slices, which is visually appealing as well as helps you to identify the particular data using. various conditions or predefined conditions so you can always go for the slice data instead of looking for the raw data that will be difficult for you to understand hope you like this feature and i'm sure this will be very much useful when you use it in the real world application and if you have any suggestions questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'm sure there are lots of fun and we will be going to learn many things in the upcoming sessions thanks for your time if you like this video please share and comment and don't forget to subscribe to my Super learning channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.